Welcome back, everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Corvette Ed's Garage, House of Fast Cars and Fast Bikes. In this episode, we are going to do some plumbing on the oil pan. I need to uh, create a oil return line uh, for the supercharger, so this is what we're going to be focusing on on this episode. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to go step by step. I'll show you how I do it. We'll do that right after this. Well, thanks for watching the channel plug. Welcome back. Um, this is the oil pan that I'm going to be modifying. And I have here is the drain plug for the oil pan uh, and assorted fittings. Uh, we're going to be doing a 90 degree um, type fitting because um, I have stuff that's in the way, unfortunately. So, uh, no big deal. We uh, do a 90 degree. Now, uh, Pro Charger makes it pretty easy. You know, I mean, sometimes it's a little bit too easy as far as the instructions are concerned. And over here, if you look at the uh, instruction, you know, it, it's only got, I mean, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine holes on one side of the tank. And they're only showing by uh, four or five holes on the, over there. What about mine? Dude, what does mine say? Sorry. <laughs> what about mine? So, kind of kind of threw me off. So, what I ended up having to do is just to be on the safe side, uh, I looked up the uh, Twin Turbo Callaway and kind of got an idea of where they put their drain plug at. I'm overthinking the simple instructions. So, anyway. So, uh, let me go ahead and make my measurements. According to Pro Charger, we are going to be uh, going down half an inch towards the block on the fourth hole, and then down uh, a quarter, uh, one inch and three quarters, and that's where we want to make our mark for uh, the oil line. So let's see. So it's showing the middle of the hole, half an inch. We're gonna go. Oh, that's way off. No, that's right. There's my half inch. That's correct. Yeah, pretty much. And then down An inch and three quarters. Oh, that'll put me right about there. Then uh, I want to take you take your punch and a little off here. I'm gonna put the punch right there, right next to it. Ooh, nice. One more time for good measure. So now I just want to make a pilot hole. So now that we have the pilot hole done, I'll go ahead and uh, drill through it. at it. There we go. 
we have a hole. That should be enough to start it. So I'm gonna use my titanium <laughs> drill, step, 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 step up drill bit. I look like Mark Wahlberg ate Mark Wahlberg. That's gonna be good now. Now I just want to clean up the, uh, the metal. <laughs> Using these type seals here, so I don't want to cut the rubber on it. Okay. okay. And as you can see. There's the hole. Nice beaver. Now I'm gonna get some alcohol and clean around the hole. So now, put this seal on. seal on here for the inside and all you have to do is put the nut on and they're going like that let's put it this way I'd be busting nuts like a squirrel but before I do that I want to put some Loctite on this uh, and I'm going to be generous whoops well, that might have been a little bit too generous plug to come out. As you can see, there it is right there. So now I'm just going to uh, bolt it down. I'm not going to get crazy on the torquing. bad about that. So what's left is the fittings. And there it is there. That's how you install or modify an oil pan for a oil supercharger oil return on. But I'm not going to put this on quite yet. I'm going to wait till I get the pan on before I uh, put the elbow on there. Alright, there it is guys. Pretty uh, fast and easy. This is the easiest way to put a return line in. That's how simple it is. About the, uh, the only thing that uh, uh, was the hardest part is wanting to drill a hole into the oil tank, oil pan. So, that was it there. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, uh, the, the video. Um, now we're just going to go ahead and put this back on the Corvette and move on to uh, installing the supercharger on the bracket. I believe that's what's next. Anyway, um, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe, uh, like the video if you enjoyed it, um, uh, or if you learned something out of it, and uh, share if you want to share. Uh, anyway, um, thank you for watching. And we'll catch you on another episode of Corvette Ed's Garage.